We're seeing the persistent high temperatures here all across North Texas. And a lot of us are wondering, are the power, is the power grid going to hold up? Is it going to get through the summer? So we want to check in on the grid for you at this hour. If you take a look here, conditions right now, they're currently good. Generation is exceeding demand. Obviously, solar energy isn't part of the equation at night, but we did recently get a viewer question about the solar's contributions to our grid. Ramon sent us an email from Dallas saying, I was wondering how much impact the use of solar panels is having on the Texas grid. Seems like they're everywhere. You can see it here. Seems like they're everywhere, but are they actually reducing demand on our coverage grid, on our overall grid? So we looked into the numbers. We wanted to find out too. And then we took Ramon's questions to an expert. So today, solar energy production on ERCOT's grid peaked at around 2 o'clock this afternoon. At that time, solar made up 15.5% of the energy's needs on our grid. Energy economist Ed Hers tells us that while that doesn't seem like a lot, every bit of energy does count on days where temperatures hit the triple digits. You know, every incremental addition to the portfolio of power plants on the Texas grid have been helping. And especially as we've, we've hit peak demand already this summer in June. Here's also something to keep in mind. Solar power generation has significantly grown over the course of the past few years. We looked at some ERCOT data and it showed us that solar accounted for just 2% of ERCOT's energy for all of 2020. Well, in 2021, that number jumped to 4% and in 2022, it was sitting at 6%.